What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are reacting to Indonesia Part 1, Tanjung Puting, Borneo. Now, obviously, this is on the Borneo Island, same as KK uh, Kota Kinabalu, where we will be traveling, hopefully, sooner than later. But a uh, different country, too. Different country. We're, we're aware same, it's a different country. Yeah, same, We're just talking about the same island. Same island. Uh, but... Which is kind of cool. Yes. No, it's, it's really cool. And uh, I think that island also has Brunei. I think so. so. And we uh, need to do some Brunei stuff. We do need to... Let us know if you want to see some Brunei stuff. Yeah. Uh, this was recommended to us, I think. Did you send me this? I probably did. I've sent you a lot of stuff lately. I've been going through the comments. Like, the comments have gotten overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Like, when we put up videos now and we're getting hundreds of comments, uh, sometimes I'll literally sit there and just scroll through them all. And then if there's uh, suggestions, I'll look at them for a couple seconds. Because, I like, I, like he does whenever we get the Raya videos. Whenever we get stuff through the Discord, you usually thumb through those pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, because we don't want to see a whole lot of it. We just want to make sure we can understand it. If right. Anything, so. uh, but I'm excited to see this one just because I don't think I have personally watched any videos of Indonesia on the Borneo. So. I, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think we have gone over anything on the Borneo side. Unless Bali's on the Borneo side. That I don't know. I don't want to sit here and say Maybe something. Maybe we will find out. Let's hop out. Yeah, let's do it. From the jungles of Borneo to the beautiful blue beaches in Bali, I think Indonesia has something for everyone. I spent two weeks there and I cannot wait to share it with you. Let's explore. So yesterday we were down at the pool for pretty much the majority of the day. Yeah. It was a beautiful day. It was like 90 degrees or something. No, I think it got up to like almost 100. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. It was amazing. It was absolutely beautiful. But, I mean, the pool's awesome and stuff, but I literally was swimming with him. I was like, could you imagine what we'd be doing right now if we were either in Malaysia or Indonesia or the Philippines or something like that? And he was like, we'd still be in water. I'm yeah. like, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it would be ocean water and we could be like snorkeling, like actually trying to see the what's beneath us and stuff right. like that versus being in a four and a half foot pool. So yeah. Indonesia. <laughs> Like that, like that. Yeah. I'm so excited to be able to do this stuff. The landscape is just so amazing. My first stop on the trip was the island of Borneo, known for its diverse rainforest, including the orangutan. Our plan was to take a small boat deep into the rainforest where we get to experience the orangutans firsthand. Yeah. We are off. We're in our boat right now, We're headed down the river and to an orangutan camp. I'm assuming he means like actual orangutans. That's, I didn't know they went to camp. Because when he said orangutan the first time, they were doing the, uh, it looked like a tribal dance or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I don't know if that's the name of a tribe, a group of people. You, that's or, the same thing. You literally just said tribe and a group of people. Or group of monkeys. <laughs> that's a good question. And the location that they're at, it could be literally either one. Yeah. Okay. The monkeys. <laughs> is that where they live? That is so insane. So is this marsh land or does it actually become like really like solid land i don't know but that's something you'd see out of the movie anaconda or jumanji i that's think super anaconda cool. like a big snake <coughs> a big snake is just about to engulf that boat now i will say that our lakes are about as clear as this yes <laughs> so you wouldn't be able to see much but it's still really cool i'd be terrified i'm not gonna even lie i'd be afraid of giant yeah Anacondas, <laughs> which I don't even know if they have them, but I would be afraid of it. The river is kind of like a giant snake. Mm -hmm. Like the Amazon River or the... 
It's crazy how the Earth creates stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're hiking on this trail and we're currently headed towards an orangutan camp. It's an area where they uh, kind of monitor orangutans, ones that have been um, in captivity before and that now are no longer in captivity. Um, I've never been up close with an orangutan, so looking forward to it. I've heard they can rip your face off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Tyler's crazy. Are we doing this? He goes and just like pokes it. Yeah. <laughs> Turns around and beats him. Were you messing with it? Right up here. Here's the thing. He has the upper hand right now. Whoa. I'd be terrified. I'm not oh, yeah. These wild animals, you just... You don't know. Yeah. They could snap in a minute. Yeah, even if they're captive or been trained. It looks so graceful. Yeah, it does. He's so chill. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Pretty eventful first day. It's like he's stoned. He's just like, I'm yeah. just going to chill over here, dude. And then he scratches his forehead like he did. First day is coming to a close in Indonesia. Had an amazing experience checking out the orangutans. Um, I didn't realize that they're kind of only in this area in Borneo, which is pretty cool. Um, now I'm going to head back to the boat because we are sleeping on the boat tonight. It's the best place. The next morning we woke up, had some breakfast, and headed to one final orangutan camp before finishing our trip in Borneo and heading to our next destination, Wakatobi. It's a cool kind of tour setup though. Yeah, like, it's really cool. You let the walls down on the boat and everybody gets to go to sleep and then you wake up and they have breakfast for you. Yeah, I would be down for that. It's like a legit tour boat. Yeah. It's pr probably, it's tour boat. Unless so. it's something <laughs> that they're doing unique that's yeah. just for them. But it looks like a lot of tours go through here. Mm -hmm. It's getting tight. All right, we woke up this morning and we are headed to Camp 2 to check out more orangutans in Borneo. Slept pretty well on the boat last night. Um, we had mosquito nets and stuff, it was pretty cool. And yeah, we're gonna check out more orangutans. Hopefully there's some orangutans at the second camp. So is he saying that there's only orangutans on the Borneo Island in the entire world? Outside of captivity, of course? I assume that's what he's saying. That's crazy. I had no idea. I didn't and I'm, I'm, I mean, it, it, if that's their natural habitat, then I'm happy for that. So I wonder if it's, yeah, if it's only on the Borneo Island, maybe there's orangutans and, or around Kota Kina Blue. Curious. Because that would be really cool. Yeah, I would love to see that. Yeah. I've seen orangutans in person. Pretty much every zoo has them. Yeah. It's just seeing it in its natural habitat is a very different thing. Well, it's like it's like being at the aquarium and seeing a shark in a tank and then like being in the ocean and then a shark coming at you. Yeah. It's completely different. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen a <laughs> lot of sharks in my day, but none of them in uh, their natural habitat. I don't want to see them there either. <laughs> I'm okay. By the way, did y'all see in the news about a guy that actually got swallowed whole by a humpback whale? I read about it last night. It was crazy. <laughs> it's a real thing. He got spit out, though. He didn't like the taste of man. No. Well, they eat coral. Or, yeah. uh, uh, not coral. Uh, krill. 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 <laughs> if I was a monkey, that would be me like all the yeah. time. <laughs> I'd be the monkey throwing poop at people. Or I guess they're... He's just spread open. I think they're grade eight. I don't know. I don't know. That's cute. Yeah, it is. Like, what you looking at? Had a great time checking out the orangutans today. We're now headed to back to Harbor. We're going to Wakatobi. About to have some food here, a little dinner on this river. It's been such a cool experience. Now on to Wakatobi for diving. We're gonna have to check that one out. Yeah, for sure. I'm more, 
Now, I do think it's really cool to go see monkeys. My dad always said he wanted to have a monkey for a pet. Because I'd love to have a monkey, one of those little bitty monkeys. Yeah, but I, I hear it's still really not a good idea. Or even like a finger monkey. I don't think those are real. You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I've seen a lot of pictures. Have you seen those? The you remember those commercials with the tiny little giraffe and the tiny little elephant? Mm-hmm. I was, whenever I saw those, I was like, man, I wish those were real. <laughs> I want a baby giraffe and a baby elephant. I want a baby uh, dragon, like off of Harry Potter. Potter. Yeah, that'd yeah. be cool. Or like a baby pterodactyl. Oh, that would be awesome. That'd be so cool. I just want tiny animals. Yeah, that are like this big. But that are normally like the size of our. You get a flying squirrel. Yeah. My grandfather. Sugar glider. My grandfather had an actual squirrel as a pet. He's Mm -hmm. got. We have a picture of him with his pet squirrel on top of his head. I don't know how that worked out. Like we never. I was too young to even think about it. And then when I got older, he was kind of getting. You know. uh, uh, That's like a southern thing. Possums. I think it's possums. They make really good pets. If you get they got a really babies. short life. Really? Yeah, they only live for like four years. It's unfortunate. Yeah. I, sad. I don't know why we're getting off on this tangent. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, but no, if I had the choice between diving or monkeys. seeing monkeys, I'm going to pick the water. Yeah. Every single time. Yeah. Um, especially if I can do it, you know, firsthand type stuff. Because, I mean, we, we do have zoos literally everywhere throughout this country but we also have aquariums but something tells me i would rather just be around the fish i'm the same way guys if you haven't seen my reaction on my my personal channel in the last video i posted i that that's what i started off with is i think i was born to be a fish really yeah there's a video about that well it's about diving. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and I, by the way, I did look up how much it costs for us to get lessons. Mm-hmm. I think it's only like 300 bucks a piece. Mm-hmm. And then the full gear, like a full kit that's completely already done, including a tank and everything out without the computer. Because you have like diving computers that read right. everything. Like you still get the analog ones. It's just not a, a digital readout. Mm-hmm. You're looking at about a thousand bucks. And, as, and if we do travel a lot like that, it might be worth it. I don't know. I might just want to free dive. Like snorkel. Yeah. You can't go that far. <laughs> you, you'll be down there for like two seconds and you'll come right back up. You're like, well, that was pretty. I but, like this video though. Let us know if you want to, if you want us to watch his next part. Yes. And with that being said, my name is Miles. And my name is Fez. Thanks for watching guys. Peace. Out.